think life's about choices and I think that we all make mistakes but if you're lucky enough to have made the mistake once and it didn't hurt you then you're stupid to do it again because you got your one shot and you know now you can't plead ignorance you can't plead stupidity you know what can happen you got caught you do it again then you know you should get what you deserve you know when people get behind the wheel uh and, and they're drunk it's it, it's like playing russian roulette almost where it's just a matter of time before they're going to cause a bad bad accident so the, the extra little amount of money they may spend getting a cab or the little trouble that may cause calling a friend to get a ride to get home is so small in comparison with what it's going to cost to them as well as to others on the road if they decide to drink and drive. The first impact of being convicted of a DUI is experiencing the strong hand of the Arizona justice system. You will soon find through other impacts that getting a DUI is a life-changing experience. Some of the penalties that you're looking at for your first time offense is a minimum of $1,500 in fines, at least one day in jail with about 10 days that you can't spend up in jail, you're usually given credit for nine of those days if you take some type of court-imposed alcohol treatment. In regards to a first-time offender, non-extreme, uh, no other indications of problems, no other substance or drug-related uh, offenses, the typical offender will probably be required um, to do what's called a level two education program. So Motor Vehicle is going to send them a corrective action letter and they have 60 days to complete the class. If they fail to complete it within the 60 days, then Motor Vehicle will suspend their license. DUI drastically affects your insurance. Some insurance companies cancel you right away after you receive a DUI. Some insurance companies will cancel you after you renew. And then in almost all cases, insurance companies drastically increase your rates. Because on this DUI, I spent four months in Tent City, uh, straight time, I was in stripes. Just being handcuffed and frisked and strip searched and, and living in a freaking 8 by 10 cell. In the state of Arizona, any person convicted of a DUI is required to install an ignition lock as part of his license for state. What we're going to do is, when we're done, we're going to go in the back, they're going to install the unit into your car, and then you'll be coming back once a month for your calibration. Uh, you have any questions, give me a call. All right. Okay, John. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Appreciate it. Not the best decision I ever made. <laughs> The interlock device, regardless of manufacturer, will be set to prevent you from starting the vehicle at a BAC of 0 .030. Basically, it cost me a lot of money. I'll be paying for this for a long, long time. Ten grand. I lost my job, so I had I voluntarily repoed my truck. So. At seven o'clock in the morning, a police officer knocked on our door, and he had. Driven home with a, um, an individual from the, what turned out to be a high school party that he was at. I don't know how you explain and how you deal with something like that because it, tear, it can tear a family apart. But what I learned, I, I do know I don't want to end up in prison. All my choices in life have been made behind alcohol. And they were not good choices, you know? Hey, it's Johnny. I'm at the bar. Can you come pick me up? Life is about choices and the impact those choices have on our lives. Before you drink and drive, ask yourself, is it worth it?